Item Number SCP-4284 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Until there is clear evidence that a natural population no longer exists, SCP-4284 specimens are to be actively hunted and captured using any means necessary. MTF Lambda-37 Tower Power has been assigned to all duties involving the eradication, capture, and containment of SCP-4284 instances at Site-231. SCP-4284 specimens marked for preservation are to be contained separately in appropriately sized enclosures and should be provided with proportionately acceptable portions of water and various raw ores. While in containment, handlers should become familiar with their outlined duties as detailed in the handler guidebook specific to their assigned SCP-4284 specimen. These duties include, but are not limited to, tagging the specimen with a Foundation GPS tracker, painting and maintenance of the specimen's exoskeleton, monitoring and documenting hibernation and mating patterns, and carrying out mental stimulation activities designed for the specific SCP-4284 instance. Description SCP-4284 are a collection of sentient terrestrial invertebrate animals that bear some biological similarities to crustaceans and other arthropods. The exterior of an SCP-4284 specimen is wholly indistinguishable from a man-made elevated water storage tank. Due to similarities in composition and appearance, research into a possible connection to SCP-4748 is ongoing. SCP-4284 are hostile when threatened and are capable of deploying their appendages in defense with deadly results. The utmost caution should be observed when interacting with SCP-4284 specimens. SCP-4284 are poikilothermic, causing them to be invisible to thermal imaging systems, complicating identification in the wild. SCP-4284 are immune to most projectile-based weaponry, but are susceptible to electric shock. Sedation is possible by use of chloroform or other standard sedatives administered with armor-piercing projectile syringes. SCP-4284 are found most commonly along the coast of the Gulf of Alaska and other parts of western British Columbia. Due to their antisocial behavior, human contact is rare, but wild specimens can wander closer to human settlements if they have gone without food for extended periods of time. Common Attributes 1. SCP-4284 can differ greatly from specimen to specimen, but are characterized by several consistent criteria. All SCP-4284 instances possess four, six, or eight radially spaced appendages, not including the cloaca, an exoskeleton made of steel that molts consistently, and a singular unsegmented head with no visible sensory organs. The radial appendages are forced into the ground for stability, but can be raised and used to skewer attackers with their sharp tapered points. They are also jointed in such a way that allows the head full range of motion, giving instances the ability to lower their head to ground level, facilitating locomotion. SCP-4284 specimens have been measured at speeds up to 40 km per hour. Most instances also possess flexible tendrils attached to each leg at the joint. When stationary, these tendrils are tucked in and appear to be cross-bracing for the structure, but when feeding or mating, they seem to wander. Their biological function is unknown, but it is theorized that they are some form of sensory organ. Two. SCP-4284 possess a central rigid appendage extending up to three times the length of the body and ending in a tapered hollow opening. Extending from this opening is a flexible, multifunction orifice similar to a cloaca that facilitates feeding, excretion, and reproduction. SCP-4284 feed by forcing this appendage through soil and rock until the desired mineral is located, at which point the cloaca excretes a powerful acidic saliva capable of breaking down most solid materials. SCP-4284 are not carnivorous and consume only raw materials and water. 3. SCP-4284 naturally excrete a layer of colored latex paint that protects the exoskeleton from oxidation. Color schemes vary from specimen to specimen, but females often display brighter, more vibrant, and more complex paint schemes. 
This color scheme appears to be of great social importance and is the most pertinent factor in finding a mate. 4. SCP-4284 are incredibly antisocial and violently territorial, avoiding both humans and other SCP-4284 instances. Their behavior when in the wild is similar to that of the snow leopard, coming together only to breed. Combat between specimens is uncommon due to Foundation intervention, but has been recorded. The majority of their time in the wild is spent feeding while standing perfectly still in their camouflage state, in which they appear to be indistinguishable from a non-anomalous elevated water storage tank. 5. All SCP-4284 are capable of primitive vocalization and advanced echolocation. As a result, their awareness of their surroundings is unmatched in the animal kingdom, despite their lack of visual sensory organs. More importantly, their heightened awareness allows them to attack with perfect accuracy. Vocalizations are of incredibly low frequency, but are audible to humans, and consist of a cadence of metallic clicks and groans, and are audible at a distance of 6 to 8 kilometers. 6. Sexual intercourse is achieved using the central appendage. In the wild, eggs are laid 5 to 6 meters underground and hatch within 48 hours. The hatchling will grow for approximately one year, until it reaches a height determined by its parental genes. The color of an SCP-4284 specimen does not appear to be hereditary. Preservative Containment Six specimens of SCP-4284 are to be retained for study by the Foundation. New specimens are subject to containment only when a currently contained specimen expires. Each instance of SCP-4284 in containment is assigned one handler, a containment specialist with level 2 clearance at the least. Any Foundation staff with a clearance level of 2 or higher may apply to be a handler. The following is a list of the six specimens as of January 12, 2019, a brief description, and the associated handler. Specimen SCP-4284-9 Description Male quadruped, 40 meters tall, solid sky blue. Handler Researcher David Barrera, level 2. Specimen SCP-4284-14 Description Female octopod, 65 meters tall, red and white stripes and a checkered pattern on the head, easily agitated. Handler, Dr. Elliot Walker, level 3. Specimen, SCP-4284-16. Description, female octopod, 45 meters tall, exoskeleton is heavily damaged and rusted, several different coats of paint. Enters a state of rage when in contact with other female SCP-4284 instances. Seems to have trouble molting. Requires special attention from Handler. Handler, Dr. Abigail Swanson, Level 3. Specimen, SCP-4284-21. Description, Male Hexapod, 65 meters tall, solid maroon. Handler, Researcher Dexter Mann, Level 2. Specimen, SCP-4284-22 Description, Adolescent male quadruped, 35 meters tall, solid white, bonds easily with humans. Handler, Junior Researcher Aubrey Kirkland, Level 2 Specimen, SCP-4284-40 Description, Female hexapod, 60 meters tall, yellow and black horizontal stripes, shows higher than average intelligence. Incredibly hostile to both humans and other specimens, but appears to cooperate with Dr. Winters to an unexpected extent. Handler, Dr. Jacob Winters, Level 4. Incident Report, 4284, March 19th, 2019. On the noted date, MTF Lambda 37 was mobilized in response to a breach of containment in Enclosure 6, which was housing SCP-4284-40. Security cameras captured the loss of four MTF personnel after they were impaled by SCP-4284-40's radial appendages. 
The flexible tendrils were also seen being used to pick up and throw security personnel across the facility. Atop SCP-4284-40 on a makeshift saddle was Dr. Winters, now designated Person of Interest 4284. A review of the event revealed that POI-4284 had disabled the security locks on Enclosure 6. SCP-4284-40 and POI-4284 have not yet been located. While POI-4284's motivation is uncertain, it should be noted that due to SCP-4284-40's violent tendencies, MTF Lambda-37 were considering its termination prior to the incident. POI-4284 was vocal about his displeasure with this development, insisting that he had made progress with SCP-4284-40. Addendum 4284, April 21st, 2019. On the noted date, Corporal Dylan Cooper, the commanding officer of MTF Lambda 37's Foxtrot Squad, was assigned to carry out a routine containment expedition. Private Leslie Knight, Private Devin Bird, and Private Shiloh Cash were assigned to Corporal Cooper during this expedition. Approximately 45 minutes into the expedition, Lambda 37 made visual contact with a water storage tank near 70 Mile House along Highway 97 in British Columbia, Canada. After confirming that the tank was not registered as a man made object, and upon further visual inspection, the tank was identified as SCP 4284 40. Corporal Cooper made the decision to terminate SCP-4284-40. Lambda-37 expended three HEAA rounds fired from Private Cash's Mark 153 SMAW before SCP-4284-40 was incapacitated. Private Cash and Corporal Cooper expired during the altercation, being impaled by the radial appendages. Video logs retrieved from Cash and Cooper showed that SCP-4284-40 anticipated the MTF's planned flanking route, targeted and promptly destroyed a vehicle-mounted HMG and portable mortar, and strategically targeted Corporal Cooper, suggesting an understanding of the command structure of the squad. Inspection of the remains revealed the body of POI-4284 in the stomach of SCP-4284-40. This is the first and only time that the Foundation has recorded carnivorous behavior in an SCP-4284 specimen. A Foundation-conducted autopsy confirmed that SCP-4284-40 was incapable of gaining any nutritional value from the body of POI-4284, and its motivation for consuming the body remains unclear. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Tannis Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.